Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're doing an August favorites video. So if you'd like to see what items I'm reaching for the most this August, then please keep watching. Okay, so the first item that I've really been reaching for is this number seven total renewal microdermabrasion exfoliator. So I use this product in the shower and it doesn't have any micro beads in it. It has like a natural type of exfoliator in it. And I do really like it. I think it makes my skin really smooth. It doesn't um, like dry me out so it doesn't create any extra oils. And I really feel like it kind of helps with my pores a little bit as well. The next item is a primer and I got this in my BoxyCharm and I really like it. I've used it in a few videos, the Cover Effects Blurring Primer. And I just think that this is such a good product. I think that it kind of conceals pores and helps smooth everything out and it does kind of keep me matte. So I would definitely say it's a blurring primer. The next favorite is a mixture of two products. So for the foundation, I have been loving the NARS foundation mixed with the Born This Way foundation. I think the two make such a great pair. The Natural Radiant gives you like a skin-like finish, but I wouldn't say it's necessarily like as long wearing as the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This one I find to be pretty long wearing as well as pretty full coverage. So when I combine the two, I get this finish that I really, really love. The next product is pretty new, but I do really like it. It's the Born This Way Concealer. And I do really like this concealer. I think it makes your under eyes look very smooth. I actually really like the color of this and I think it's great coverage. The next favorite product is something that isn't new, but that I've been reaching for a lot this August, and it's the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I love this palette. I think the colors are super nice. You can take these pans out and refill them. If you don't like the colors in here, like I don't really use the shimmery shades that often, you can replace them with something else, uh, different colors. They have, you know, different colors for different skin tones. So I just think that this is such a practical palette. Um, I believe this retails for $24.99, which I think is a little steep for a drugstore highlight and contour palette but as I said you can change out the individual pans and I believe those are only like maybe four or five dollars each and when they have the sale the buy one get one free buy two get one free um, at Ulta I usually pick up the singles online and then I can buy two and get one free or buy one and get one free so that's usually how I stock up my palette I tend to keep, like I, I have backups for the three that I use the most. And I just think that this is perfect for traveling. I use it for eyeshadows. I use it to highlight and contour. I just think it is such a great drugstore palette. So this other item is not new, but I have been loving this more than any of my drugstore powders. This Maybelline Fit Me powder in Fair Light. You guys, this loose powder is so good. It makes your under eyes so smooth. It absorbs my oils. And I think it's only like $12 or something like that, which I don't find to be bad, especially because the Laura Mercier one is like $42. So get yourself one of these. I like that they come in different colors. So if you like more of a yellow base or more of a pink base under your eyes, then you can go with that. They also have a trans translucent color if you're pretty fair get yourself this powder the next item is a blush I got this in my boxy charm it's the note blush I think that this is such a natural color I think it blends in with your bronzer and your contour 
and it just makes it look so seamless. I think it lasts a nice amount of time. It's very pigmented and it blends out really nicely. I think this is such a nice blush and I am so glad I got it in my BoxyCharm. The next product is a little surprising in my opinion. It is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. I just love this color. I think it is so pretty. It is definitely a dupe for my Champagne Pop. This is like $5 at the drugstore or Ulta, wherever you want to go. And I think it has such a nice, like, natural glow. Excuse the cat scratch. But I just think that, like, it just, it doesn't have, like, a weird shift, in my opinion, if you don't use too much of it. I don't think it, like, shows on your skin or anything like that. It just makes you look like you have, like, a glow from within. I think it is so pretty for everyday use, and I highly suggest. As far as eyeshadows go, I have been reaching for some of my older palettes, but this palette I actually purchased a while back and I didn't use it because I was trying to use it on camera and then I felt like I was reaching for it a lot more after I started using it. And that is the Soft Glam palette. I think that this is such a great neutrals palette. It has really great transition shades. It has a mirror. It has really good shimmery shades. Um, I did a tutorial with this shade here, and I just think that it turned out so fabulous. I There's a nice black. There are the transition shades, as I've said. I just think that this is such a nice palette to have. At $42 for 14 shades, I don't think that's too bad, especially for an Anastasia product. I am loving this palette. Last but certainly not least is this Wander Beauty Unlashed Mascara. I think that this is such a nice mascara. I think it has a really nice size wand and it has like a little curve in the wand. So I think that, you know, it, it hugs the lashes. You can get really good in there when you kind of need to go like on top of your lashes it co it connects underneath it has like it just hugs your lashes um, I think it makes it them look like very separated and long and fluttery and I have been using this every time I do my makeup I think it is a fabulous mascara I am so glad I received this in my boxy charm Yet another reason why you should get a BoxyCharm. If you'd like a referral link, I link mine below in every video. So if you wanted to sign up for BoxyCharm, please use my link below. Well guys, that's all for my August favorites. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And please tune in every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for a new video from me. And I hope you guys have a great day or night, wherever you are. Toddy bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're doing a September... August? August. I love... Wherever you are, tie bye.